Today I'm going to show you how to use the draw and record feature to embed directions throughout an activity that you want students to do. So I already started making this template for students to work on, but what I find is hard for my kindergartners is that if I have the directions recorded ahead of time on like in the directions part or in my example, by the time they're working through multiple step directions, they've forgotten what to do. So I'm working on a computer and it's definitely easier here because of the copy and paste feature, but I'll also talk about how you could do this on an iPad. I've got two pages right now, and I'm gonna go over to this one. And the first step I want them to do is count how many blue circles and write the number in the blank. So I'm gonna click over here where I've got step one, and I'm gonna click on my record feature. Count all the blue circles. Write how many there are on the blank. Now, unlike before, I can actually resize this. So I can make it super tiny. And because I'm on a computer, I can cut it using Control X, go over here and paste it in. And then I can put step one right next to where they need to do step one. Then I can go over here and repeat it, but for my next direction. Count all the green triangles. Write the number for how many in the blank. Same thing, make it tiny, cut, switch, paste, size, Drop it in, and I can lock these so they don't move. And then I can do my last one. I like to use exclamation points for bonuses. Bonus, if you want a challenge, show me how many shapes there are all together. And paste. And now that I'm done and I don't actually need this other page, I can just delete it. And I can make this ready to go for students. Now, what I found works better on an iPad, since you can't seem to cut and paste, is to just cover up the background with a white shape and record whatever you want so that you can't see everything else behind it, and then do the same thing of resizing and putting it where you want it. Hope that's helpful.